atomic bomb made the prospect of future war unendurable, and has led us up those last few steps to the mountain pass, and beyond there is a different country. J. Robert Oppenheimer Forged from the sweat and dedication of patriotic physicists led by Robert Oppenheimer, the making of the nuclear bomb involved the encounter of different countries, exploration of nuclear physics, and the exchange of information. The nuclear bomb was one of the most destructive weapons ever built by mankind, both starting a marathon and ending it. The nuclear bomb revolutionized warfare as well as the world. During World War II, the Soviet Union launched the Spy Party, whose main goal was to exchange information between the spies in America and scientists in Russia. While Americans and Germans dedicated their scientists and time to build a bomb before the enemy, Russian spies, and an organization known as the KGB, infiltrated the United States, hoping to seek or exchange information. Although the KGB was officially founded in 1954, members were active during the Second World War. The KGB, or the Komitet Gosu Dars Venoi Bezo Spanasti, was spent on a last resort expedition to advancements in technology in America, despite being an ally. In fact, Russian communication was so obscure, it was not until 1946 when Americans knew about the exchange of information. First, the Soviet Union attempted to convince Robert Oppenheimer, the lead scientist of the Manhattan Project, to defect to Russia. They believed this would work since Robert Oppenheimer had a history with communism and seemed interested. Unfortunately for the KGB, the patriotic leader was steadfast to his home country and did not choose to leak information to them. After having multiple comfortable conversations over martinis and wine, the KGB strapped the idea of convincing Ra Oppenheimer to help them. The only other option for the KGB was to send an imposter to America and aid in the making of the nuclear bomb. No other Russian was as notorious and important as Klaus Fuchs, a Russian spy and physicist who infiltrated the Manhattan Project. When he transferred to America, he was given a contact or middleman by the name of Harry Gold. From there, he would transfer information to Gold, who would give the technology to the Soviet Union. Suddenly, in the August of 1944, Klaus Fuchs disappeared from New York. Although he was unable to secretly contact them, he was confident the KGB knew he was in Los Alamos, infiltrating top American secrets. While Fuchs was gathering American intelligence, he also greatly helped produce the bomb by performing many significant calculations. After the war, he spread his teachings to many places like Russia and China and helped them develop their first atomic bombs. The exchange of information to the Soviet Union was conducted through many sneaky ways. For example, Fuchs met Harry Gold, his courier, at a set time and location. From there, one would ask the other a question like, where is Chinatown? If the other responds with, it opens at 9, then a packet of information was given to Gold to deliver to his contact. Simon Simonov. Another spy, Ted Hall, would send messages to his associate by sending him lines of poetry. After being examined by the US and passed as innocent, his contact would receive it, locate the line in his copy of the book, and find the date and time through the line and page number. The Manhattan Project took place at many sites. These sites looked into different aspects of the project, covering material obtainment, weapon design, weapon delivery, etc. Together, these individual sites spread across the country and made the creation of the first wor world's first nuclear weapons possible. The two most important sites during the project was the sites at Oak Ridge and Los Alamos. The project location of Oak Ridge, known separately as Site X or Clinton Engineer Works, was approved by General Leslie Groves in 1942. It accommodated 30,000 workers and housed four different nuclear plants. The K-29 gaseous diffusion plant, uranium enrichment, was, large, was a large U-shaped plant. It was a mile long, making it the long, long, largest roof building at the time. It was used to separate fissionable uranium-235 from the more common non-fissionable uranium-238. It forced uranium hexafluoride through barriers to separate isotopes. However, the bi right barriers, barriers were difficult to synthesize, resulting in only slightly enriched uranium. Another plant, the Y-12 electromagnetic separation plant, it used electromagnetic racetracks to isolate uranium-235. Due to a shortage of copper materials, the project bar borrowed 15,000 tons of silver bullion from the U.S. Treasury to be used in place of copper. The plant required extremely high maintenance as was subject to frequent setbacks. The S-50 liquid thermal diffusion plant was used in a chain system with gaseous diffusion and electromagnetic separation. It enriched uranium to 1-2%, to then it passed it on to the K-25 plant, which enriched it to 
which was passed to the Y12 plant for final enrichment. Lastly, the X10 graphite reactor was a fission reactor that created plutonium from decaying uranium. It was based off Chicago Pile 1, constructed by Enrico Fermi. The graphite served as a neutron mod modulator and uranium rods as fuel. The plutonium separated was separated and sent to Los Alamos and was used in gadget and fat, fat man fission explosive. The Los Alamos site in New Mexico was arguably the most important site in the whole Manhattan Project. Known as Site Y, Project Y, the Zia Project, the Hill and Santa Fe Area L, the Los Alamos site produced in research the first nuclear bombs. The Manhattan Project was started near the world end of World War II. It was started as a secret project by the U.S. government after Einstein and Fermi warned them about the new technologies of atomic science. At first, the secret project was not very serious since not many people knew the atomic science required. However, on a fateful day of December, Fermi produced the very first nuclear chain reaction. After his discovery, funds were given more freely and the project advanced at breakneck speeds. World War II had many countries fighting in it. Many major powers of the time fought in the war. The Allied powers and the Axis powers were the two factions fighting. On the Allied powers was Britain, French, and Russian. Later, the U.S. joined in after Japan decided to bomb Pearl Harbor. On the Axis powers were the Germans, Japanese, and Italians. During the war, many people were killed in the Holocaust, one of the main factors contributing to the cause. The war was fought because Hitler's army was getting too powerful and needed to be stopped before he took over the world. Originally, the bombs were meant to be dropped on Germany if they became too powerful. However, Germany unofficially surrendered since Hitler died before the bonds were finished, so the U.S. decided to drop the bonds on Japan since they did not surrender yet. Little Boy and Fat Man were the two bombs' codes names, and they were dropped in Japan. Little Boy was dropped on Hiroshima, and Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki. On May 8, 1945, the Allied forces accepted the surrender of Germany, around a week after Adolf Hitler committed suicide. Even though their allies had given up all hope of winning the war, the Japanese still fought ferociously against the United States and its allies. Japan fought for months, and it seemed like they would keep taking the lives of soldiers until everyone on both sides were dead. Unwilling to risk the lives of many more men, the United States dropped the little boy bomb on Hiroshima in August, on August 6, 1945, and the fat man detonated on Nagasaki on August 9th, three days later. From the exploration of nuclear science and the exchange of information between desperate Russian spies, to the encounter between opposing countries, the contest to create the atomic bomb holds a remarkable and unforgettable story that carved into history. Never will mankind forget the awful seasons of the war, and certainly, they will not forget the bomb that ended it.